What's up, everybody? Welcome to my. <laughs> 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 this is how I talk with excitement. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Sean. Welcome to my channel. In this channel, I review techs, gadgets, do unboxing and reviews. Today, we are talking about Apple Pay and Apple Pay Cash Card. I'm gonna tell you what they are, how they work, how you set them up, and how you use them. I could stay like this forever following you. Just don't get too far, and I'll be right where you are. You're So Apple Pay came out with the introduction of iOS 8.1 and iPhone 6. So it's been around for a while, but there's still a lot of people don't know enough about them. So today I'm gonna tell you about Apple Pay and Apple Pay Cash Card. What it is, how it works, and how to set it up. So Apple claims this is a very secure and private way and convenient way for you to pay for your products. Every time you swipe your card, your account information, your name, it will be transmitted through the merchant to your financial institution and then it gets authenticated and approved the transaction. However, when you sign up for Apple Pay, you only need to authenticate that device and your card once and then after that, you will have a token secured on your phone on a chip that is encrypted, even Apple does not have access to that information. And when you are getting ready to use your Apple Watch or your iPhone to pay for a product, then your device will generate a random key and that encrypted key will be sent to your bank. They decrypt it and then they approve the information. And this is how you're able to prevent potential uh, fraudulent activity because you are never sharing your account information with the merchant to begin with. And with the recent years, you guys have seen numerous examples of even some of the largest retailers have been hacked and the information have been stolen. So protect yourself, use Apple Pay whenever you can. I will tell you more about how to set it up and even more about Apple Pay Cash Card when I get home. When you use Apple Pay and you send and receive money through Messages app, it will be stored on the Apple Pay Cash Card. In order for you to use Apple Pay Cash Card, you need to be at least 18 years old and also it is still not available in all countries yet. However, in order to use Apple Pay, there really is not any age limitation from Apple. As long as legally you're able to obtain a credit or debit card in your name, based on the laws and rules in your country or county or state you live in, then you will be able to add that to Apple Pay and use it. There are two ways you can add a card to your Apple Pay. One is through the wallet app, the other is through settings. Wallet is a lot easier and faster, but I'm gonna show you both of them. First, open up the wallet app. At the top right, you see the blue plus icon. Then you will see this page. Once you hit continue, then it will give you two options to add the card. One is through scanning the card and the other is entering the card manually. Next, let me show you how you can do the same thing through the settings app. So let's go ahead, open up settings. You scroll down to get to wallet and Apple Pay. And here you have the option to add a card. As you can see, I already have a couple of cards added. This is where, by the way, you see your Apple Pay cash card and available balance as well. So here you have the option to add a card, which will take you to the same screen. There we go, right here. And you will be able to toggle on if you want to go ahead, double click the side button to be able to activate and authorize paying with Apple Pay. Obviously, this is for iPhone 10, 10s, 10x Max, and 10R, where you have the side button. In older phones, iPhone 8, 8 Plus, 7, 7 Plus, and 6 uh, S and 6, then uh, and 6 S Plus, you will be able to have the option to double click the home button to be able to authenticate that. Either way, it's gonna need your face ID or 
your uh, fingerprint and use Touch ID to authenticate that. Next, let's talk about Apple Pay Cash Card or Apple Pay Cash. Again, that's a virtual card. When you send and receive money, it will be stored on that card. The way you activate it, you go back to settings. In Wallet and Apple Pay, you have the option at the top. It says Apple Pay Cash. There is one switch. You just toggle on and you are ready to go. When you turn it on, it's going to ask you to log in. There you go. So this is the setup. There you go. Apple Pay Cash is set up. You can now send and receive money in messages and make purchases anywhere Apple Pay is accepted. Money you receive will be added to your Apple Pay Cash card in Wallet. So let me show you where that is. So when you open up Wallet, you see this is my Apple Pay Cash and you see a history of the previous transactions where you sent and received money. One more thing I forgot to show you guys with the use of Apple Pay itself. If you open up the card, you actually see the last transaction you made here. But also when you go to the settings app, you're able to see a lot more of your history. So I'm going to go to the card that I often use and you can see these are all my um, previous uh, transactions. You're also able to turn on notifications. So every time Apple Pay is used, you will be able to get it on your lock screen and you'll be notified. I really like that option and I have mine turned on. That's just a confirmation that it did go through or by accident, I did not pay for it twice for whatever reason. All right, let's get back to Apple Pay Cash. So you see the option Apple Pay in the app drawer down here. So once you go ahead, open that up, first it will detect if the recipient has Apple Pay activated or not. And so in this case, my work phone, I don't have Apple Pay Cash activated on it, so I won't be able to send it. But if I were to select my wife, then I will be able to choose Apple Pay. And here I can request to send or receive money. So I'm going to request $2. Let's see what she will say. She read it. Is she gonna pay? Let's find out. Oh, she's doing something. Let's find out. Is she gonna do it? She has no idea I'm making this video right now, by the way. Is she gonna pay up? Is she gonna pay up? I have a feeling she's gonna request for money back instead of paying me. Let's see what happens. Come on, come on, baby. Oh, she did send it. Awesome. So you see, I have a balance of $2 on my account right now. So perfect. This is an absolutely amazing feature when you're out with your friends and you're trying to split checks. It makes it a lot easier. One person can go pay for it and then whatever you owe them, you just use it through messages and send it to that person. So on the final stretch, just a few more things to share with you guys. So you, remember, you can use Siri to request money from your friends or send money to someone. Also, any merchant who accepts Apple Pay, you will be able to use your Apple Pay cash card and spend that money that way. But also, you will be able to take that money out of your Apple Pay cash card or add money to it. So you go to settings, go to wallet and Apple Pay, click on your Apple Pay cash. And under info, you see you have the option to add money or transfer money to bank. If you hit add money, it uses the card that is linked to your Apple Pay and you can add money to it. So the minimum you can do is $10. And once I hit add, we just request to use Apple Pay to add money to Apple Pay Cash. If you're transferring money from a debit card to Apple Pay Cash card, there is no fee for it. However, if you're using your credit card and transferring money from your credit card to Apple Pay Cash card, there are some fees associated with it. I think it's about 3%, but don't quote me on it. I just want to let you know that it's not going to be free, but your debit is going to be free. Also, you have the option to transfer the money back to your bank account. Under info, you can click transfer to bank and you put your bank account information, routing and account number, and you'll be able to transfer the money back to your bank account. There is no cost for that and typically takes about two to three days. This was it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing and turn on the notifications. Also, don't forget to smack that like button. If you got any questions for me, please comment down below. See you soon.